Hello everyone, everything good? Daniel here from Sapgi Scripting. Seguinte, uh... We installed Sapgi just now and we have to see if it is necessary to update it. So we search the internet and find that there is an update and we are going to update it so that it stays in the latest available patch. Tá. So I'm going to use the file I downloaded here and we're going to update it, okay? The video, the file will be available in the video description, check it out. Let's open the SAP logon here. 670, we installed it just now. Click here on the three dots over SAP logon, see that this is patch level 0, okay? So let's do the following, let's take this riff that we downloaded, let's update this 7 zip patch, extract everything. Or if I use the extract for Windows itself, we will enter the folder. Here is the folder. Let's run it here. Ready. Here it appears. Again that screen would appear when installing. Click next and it is now updating. Let's wait for the files to copy. We have here now the completion of the screen. It is warning here that we need to restart the computer to finish using it. Let's close here. He is doing the cleaning. I'm going to do it right here if I reboot to see if it will open if it will show correctly no it won't really it's necessary to have the computer restarted the computer how to start soon we'll come back here. So guys the computer has restarted now let's open SAP logon to see if it got the update. SAP logon 3 dots over SAP logon patch level 3. If you remember at the beginning the patch level was zero. Then that's it. We finished the SAP update. Where available, use updates. Since when you look on the internet, see if there is any new update and make that update. This is the step by step. Okay guys, thanks, until next time.